Now, how did you get to school there? Because you were a little farther if you well, were on 17th. Well, there was a 16th Street and a, 17, a 16th Street bus. But I didn't always have a nickel to get on that bus and, and ride. So I just ran. I ran, ran. or walked. Or, mm -hmm. or there, was a, there was a man that lived on uh, Bell, Columbia, on Columbia, that worked for public service company. And a lot of times he had a son that, that went to school with me, or he was a year younger, but he had picked me up and, and take both of us to school. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how I got to school. And when I got, got to Lawton, or got it, and I got out of school in the afternoon, I've, I've, uh, most of the time in junior high and high school, I had a job. Did you? That I'd go to. Two of the, the teachers that I remember remember were uh, McCarty, taught American history. You bet. And uh, Paul Wilson took from him. Mm -hmm. What'd you take from him? Shop. Mechanical drawing. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah. Now, we've heard stories about him being pretty tough. He was tough, but he he couldn't... He couldn't uh, use a paddle like he thought he could. <laughs> I've, I've been, I experienced two people in, in, in one in junior high and one in high school. I had a way of not getting to school on time until I ran into Shoemaker. And, and Shoemaker warned me once. And he said, if I see you back in here, you're going to get paddled. And I have goofed around and didn't get here. And he got, I, he paddled me. And Shoemaker did. Yes, the the superintendent. He was wow. principal of junior high school, right. and then he went on to be superintendent of schools. And he could use a paddle. I'll tell you, I still hurt. Did you enjoy school? Not, not. It was a waste of time most of the time for me. Now, why was that? Don't put that in the book. Oh yeah. Well, well. How? What was that? Why? Why was that? We wanted because know. I had a. I usually had good jobs. Oh, I see. And I, I just soon had been on the job making money. Is uh, mm -hmm. I used to have more money in my pocket than my dad did. What'd you do for lunch? Remember, we didn't have a cafeteria. Well, so. now let me tell you about lunch. Okay. My mother would give me enough money to eat lunch, and back in in those days, you could get a a pint of ice cream and a, and a half of a pie at Johnson's for fifteen or twenty cents. Wow. And. Uh, I was at work when I was at, uh, I left junior high school and was headed to Johnson's Ice Cream. And I was walking down B Street and I passed Mrs. Williams' boarding house. But at the time, I didn't know what a boarding house was. I was just a kid. And Sam Lawrence was sitting out on the front porch. He had a crippled hand from paralysis. Mm -hmm. And his wife and two or three women that she had working for her cooked meals every day. And you can't believe the food that she put on the table. There was a choice of three or four meats every day, all the vegetables that you could put in your stomach, and I was walking down the street going to Johnson's, and I, I, Sam hollered at me and said, Hey, where are you going? And I said, I'm going to Johnson's and get me some ice cream. He said, Why don't you come in here and eat a good meal? And I, I kind of hesitated. You, didn't, you weren't afraid of people and then, like if you invited somebody now. But... Uh, I said, well, what's this all about anyway? And he said, my wife cooks for a lot of people that come in here every day and pay her and eat. And that's what I'm expecting you to do. And I said, well, how much will it cost? And he said, are you in school? And I said, yeah. And he said, 15 cents for a meal. And uh, wow. I went in and sat down, and this table was as long as this room is here with about 20 chairs around it, and there was not any room to really to, for anybody to sit down. And big bowls full of potatoes, mashed potatoes and gravy and vegetables and meat, 
and fried chicken you can't believe. And anyway, I, I sat down and, and, and I gave them my 15 cents and ate, and I decided that I wouldn't tell my friends about the place because they would have probably, I was afraid they'd put her out of business, and this was too good a thing for me to lose. And uh, anyway, Bill Milton, he decided he was going to follow me one day. Milton, he, his dad came out of the Seabees during, after World War II and, and, and went to building schools here in town. And uh, Bill had graduated from high school by that time and, and helped, moved in and helped him build schools. And Donald was uh, an older brother that became an alcoholic that uh, he didn't last long. Anyway, uh, I told Bill, I said, now if you if you tell anybody about this, they're gonna they're gonna come in here and eat and put her out of business, and then we won't have a good place to eat. Well, n none of the kids cared anything about. It. They didn't care whether they were in business or not. Some of them could go home and eat, but we lived from from. Right. It was a, by the time I got back to school after eating, I was hungry again. Anyway, uh, we kept that a secret for a long time. And one day, Miss Miss uh, Williams made the statement. She said, "I could use some more business. I'm, I'm not. Uh, some of the people aren't coming right now, or something." And I said, "Well, I know where you can get some business. I've kept it a secret." And I told those. I told her about these uh, friends of mine and. And so about six or eight of them hit that place, and you could be, you couldn't believe the way they ate ate. So well, well, she kept going, and and uh, when she passed away, that was the biggest crowd that ever went to a, to a, a a funeral at the First Baptist Church in Lawton. And since then, there hadn't been anybody that went as many as as, right. as they did for that. My parents had uh, moved to, they had moved my, my mother and dad to, to Hugo, Oklahoma, and I came back to Lawton, and I had to wait, I think, for a month or so before I could get a room at the boarding house. But I ate there, and I could eat three meals a day, five days a week two meals on Saturday and two meals on Sunday and sleep there for a week for $14. That first job that Mr. Worley got for you created a, a yes. career and yes. got you a wife. Yes. And then out of that union... Well, now, I don't know about the wife, but I... <laughs> I'm sure it did. You got to see Manette in the morning come by, twitting by there, and I, bet she, I know she was a cute little thing. I've been here 80 years. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about Lawton? Lawton's a good town.